Hi, Daria Jackson, Lingan Year here of the New York Power Couple. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can join a Zoom conference. So there's a couple of things that you need to know before you join. Number one is you need to know how you plan to join. And there's several ways that you can do that. So number one, you can join by way of your computer, whether it's a laptop or a desktop, um, your mobile device, whether it's a, a Android or an Apple, and a tablet. So once you decide how you want to come, then you will know where you need to download the app. So Zoom is a, is a app in Chrome extension. And you must, if you're coming on your computer, you must access the internet from Chrome. Okay. So I'm already on my computer. I'm already in Chrome. So I'm going to show you exactly where you go to download the app. So you want to go to Chrome extension. When you get to Chrome extension, you want to type in the search Zoom. And then you want to scroll down to Zoom Scheduler. So as you can see, I already have it because it's already added. On your computer, it will say Add to Chrome. So you will click Add to Chrome, and then it will go through its downloading process. And then once, you, once it's downloaded, you are ready to go. So now I'm going to go to Zoom. So you type in zoom.us and you go to join a meeting and you click join a meeting and then you type in the meeting ID. So I'm going to show you, since I'm already in my account, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So let me go here. Where do I go? Okay, here we go. And I'm going to go to my profile so you can see. So most likely when someone sends you a link, it's going to look like this. And you use the link when you're on your computer. Because once you type the link into the browser, it will go straight into the Zoom. Now, if you are on your mobile device, you're going to need the the uh, personal meeting ID which is at the end of the link all right so in both and when I'm giving out the link I usually give out both because people don't realize that the meeting ID is part of the link okay so now I'm going to show you how you can and I'm going to copy this because I'm going to go into my own meeting I'm going to show you how you can join a meeting so you click join a meeting and you just paste that ID in there and click join. So it's going to go through its process. It may ask you to open it. It also may ask you if you want to um, use internet audio. So you want to use the audio and you also want to use um, your camera so that you can be seen. So you want to be heard and you want to be seen. And because I, I do so many of these, that option um, doesn't come up for me anymore because I'm always doing zooms. All right. So I just click open and now I hear voila, you're in a meeting. So I just want to bring your attention to these, um, controls at the bottom because even though, Oh, here it is. Here's the option. So it'll ask you, do you want to join with computer audio? Yes. You want to join with computer audio. You do want to test your speaker and your microphone to make sure that they are working. And I'm gonna click join with computer audio so that you can be heard. Now, if you look at the bottom, you're gonna see the mute. And as I'm speaking, you see that it's picking up my volume. So my volume is working. And then also, um, if you're on a meeting and you know you don't look too hot, <laughs> or, or whatever the case may be, and you don't wanna be seen, you could just click stop video and then you're you're able to hear everything and your picture will just be on display 
So um, I do recommend when you do code, go to a Zoom meeting that you do show yourself because, um, you know, people like to be seen and like to talk to who like to see who they're speaking to. But it may be times when you may need to do that. And then you could just put that in chat. So there's also a chat feature at the bottom. So you can ask a question. Also, it will list all the people that are here. And you could just type your message in the bottom and you can just say hi or hey, I'm here and everyone will see your message. So if you have to leave or, you know, you want to, you know, excuse yourself or whatever, you could just type that there and the host will see it as long and everyone else will see it as well. All right. And then when you're done, the meeting is over. I'm trying to get rid of that chat. And then when the meeting is over, you just click end meeting, which is over here. But wait, let me um, put my, my screen smaller again. All right. Close that. All right, there we go. And then you can end meeting like that. Okay. And since I'm the host, it's I can end the meeting for all. And on, on your case, it will say leave meeting. It won't say end meeting. I, it says end meeting on mine because I'm the host. So yours will say leave meeting and you leave. And then that's it. You're done. Now I want to show you what it would look like on your phone. So give me one second while I pull that up. All right. So I have an iPhone, so it may look a little different. So if you have an Android, you would go to the Play Store and you would look for your, um, you would look for the Zoom there. I have a gazillion apps on here, so I always have to do a search. So where it says search right here, I'm going to type in Zoom. And the Zoom platform that you are looking for, because as you can see, there's a few Zooms, right? So the one that you're looking for is Zoom Cloud Meetings. All right. Now on yours, it's going to say get because you haven't downloaded it yet. But once it's downloaded, it's going to say open. So in my case, it's open. And then from here, I would press open. And now it's prompting me to, um, to go to the meeting. So I t already have the meeting typed in. So you type the meeting right here, the meeting ID, which I showed you earlier. So you type the meeting ID here. And since I am the host, it's telling me to wait for the host to start the meeting. It may do that in your case if the, if the host hasn't started. So you just wait and then all, and then automatically once they start, you'll just pop up into the meeting. Okay. So if the host had already started the meeting, then you would just go right into the meeting. And I like it. It's really cute. It goes ding dong. You hear a bell and then you pop in and, and voila. Now, once you get inside the meeting on your phone, you're going to have the same questions. They're going to ask you, do you want to use internet audio? Do you want to use, um, audio and video. So you want to make sure that your audio is on so that you can be heard and you want to make sure that your video is on. So if you press those, you know, you're not going to do anything crazy. It's just allowing you to access the meeting and be heard and be seen. Okay. So I hope that this was helpful and this is how you join a zoom conference. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.